good morning knowledge and wisdom are two concepts that get us confused all the time while knowledge is everything that comes from reading exploring and educating oneself wisdom is the ability to use the learned knowledge in the best and most ethical way with these words let me welcome you all to this vibrant yet ingenious platform of dishana 2021 a multidisciplinary webinar series conducted by kr srinarayana college which is being organized by internal quality assurance cell in association with the kerala state higher educational council from 8 number to 29 number 2021 this webinar is going to be an excellent platform for discussing recent trends in the field of languages science and social sciences 16 renowned speakers from various national and international premier institutes have consented to deliver their lectures. I invite Ms. Shahla Koti, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Kerala Srinagar College, Varunjiri, for the welcome address. Ma'am, please. Small cheers and great welcome makes a merry fest. Very good morning to one and all present here. I am Shahla, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Kya Sri Narayana College, Valanjiri. I welcome you all to Dishana 2021, a multidisciplinary international webinar series, which is being organized by International Internal Quality Assurance Cell in association with Kerala State Higher Education Council. First and foremost, I would like to welcome. come the speaker of I told you. dr dr fahim kk assistant professor uh, assistant professor shakra university saudi arabia for accepting our request he is well known for his dedication and passion in teaching and he leads a huge role in uplift uplifting the student into another level warm welcome to you sir next i would like to welcome the captain of the ship dr anil <laughs> welcome you sir next i would like to invite the department of english as the iqac coordinator we welcome you ma'am last but not least i would like to welcome all teaching and non teaching staff to this event also i would like to invite all the participants participants of today hope you will be having a wonderful session thank you thank you ma'am Now I would like to invite Dr. Fabita Ibrahim, Assistant Professor and Head Department of English, and IQAC Coordinator, Kerala Sinhala College, Varanasi, for the presidential address, ma'am, please. Thank you, thank you so much. Good morning, one and all. Respected Principal Dr. Anil Sir, Invited Resource Person Dr. Fahim Sir, Faculty Members, My dear Students. A very warm good morning, one and all. As you all know, today is the fifteenth day of our international webinar series, Dishna 2021, in association with in association with Kerala State Higher Education Council. It's our honor and pleasure to organize this session and to be a part of this webinar series. and definitely this is uh, today we are going to organize a beneficial and effective topic for our students uh, techniques to enhance uh, techniques to enhance communication skills and fluency in english as you all know the importance of english language it's a global language by enhancing your <laughs> communication skills and proficiency in english language uh you can uh, you will get more and more career opportunities in your life so we have an excellent and wide brand resource person dr fahim k who is from uh, assistant professor from shakra university saudi arabia who has been dealing the elt english language teaching for last uh, several years so make this session as oh, yes, a introduction all the very best students now i invite dr fahim kk assistant professor shakha university saudi arabia who is our resource person for the day he is a nepalian professor who has completed doctor of philosophy in english anna malai university tamil nadu he has been working as an assistant professor 
in Shatra University since 2019. He was also the IQAC Joint Coordinator in WMO Arts and Science College, Vainad. He has published and presented several articles in both national and international levels and has achieved several milestones in his academic career. Today, he will be giving you a lecture on techniques to enhance communication skills and fluency in English. Sir, we welcome you to KR Sri Narayana College, Valancheri. And sir, the section is yours. Okay, thank you. First of all, I thank uh, the college for inviting me to deliver a lecture, uh, uh, deliver a lecture on topic techniques to enhance English communication skills and fluency in English. Since you all know that, uh, since we are living in this contemporary world, you all know that the importance of English language. And, you know, before I uh, step into the topic or jump into the topic, techniques to enhance English communications and fluency in English, uh, you know, since you are, since doctor told that the importance of English language, we need to know why we have to acquire the techniques to enhance the English communication skills. You know, in this modern world, everybody knows that, you know, English is a global language. You know, whether you are belong to a, a mathematics discipline or you belong, you or maybe an engineer, you're maybe a medical student, you may have a well-versed, uh, you know, uh, deep-rooted knowledge on particular subject. If you are not, uh, if you do not have comment over English language, you cannot express your subject knowledge, even if you are belong to various, you know, discipline. So the first mo foremost important thing in this contemporary or sophisticated world is that to have a comment over English language. So that is the first most important thing for most, you know, at most important thing, why we have to acquire English language in this contemporary world. Uh, doctor, am I audible? Can I continue? Am I audible? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. There is no issue. You can continue, okay. sir. Okay, thank you, thank you. So the first thing is that you know, as I said, you, as I said, to you that whether you may have a proficient and well-versed in uh, knowledge that the discipline you belong to, you may be a mathematics student, you may be a medical, you may be an engineer, but uh, unless until you have a comment over English language, you cannot express your knowledge in that particular subject. So that is the first and at most important, why we have to acquire the techniques to improve English language skills. And the second thing is that uh, English will open up a world of new opportunity. Uh, if you can speak effectively in English, then trust me, you will get, uh, you know, you can flourish wherever you go. Because, you know, uh, since I'm teaching in a, in a, in a international university, where how I am flourishing, I am expressing my knowledge because I have the, I know English language. That is why I am able to, you know, express my knowledge about, in, about literature, about English language. Since I do not know anything about their language, you know, because of this English language, this world of opportunity opened, it, opened up for me. So the same way, if you have an immaculate language, you know, immaculate language in English, you know, the world will open up for you and new opportunities. So uh, there are several reasons as such, since we do not have the time. And since my topic is not the importance of English language, I just reminded you these points, why we have to acquire effective communication skills. And uh, the, com sorry, uh, techniques to improve communication skill. The first important thing is that the communication should be effective. So that is another problem. Your, you, whatever you talk, it should be clear. That's what we can say in a literary words, immaculate communication skills. Immaculate communication skills are essential to allow others and yourself to understand information more accurately and quickly. So when you communicate with others, you should understand the audience and you should deliver according, according to the audience. Suppose that, you know, before, uh, you know, when they approached me, you have to deliver a particular uh, topic on this, I mean, particular uh, lecture on this topic. They, they pointed out that you have to deliver the, the, the lecture on degree student. So then I have to understand, I have to prepare my note according to the audience whom I am going to address. That is the first thing that you have to keep in mind. 
So suppose that that is what we can call effective communication skill. You know, you are going to a supermarket and you want to buy some uh, simple things, and you are using the words which was used by Shashi Tharoor, like proxenos and helicification. It is not effective communication skill. So when you are going to buy something in a supermarket, you have to understand that you are going to address this particular person. So you need to use simple or lucid language. Communication is. allow others and yourself to understand information more accurately and quickly that is the first thing your communication should be effective now other way we can say immaculate immaculate communication skills uh, you know you know the accent now some people just try to imitate the you know british uh, or american accent there is no need of that accent is not only the clarity of expression but also to leave a lasting impression to the listeners whatever you communicate communicate it clearly that is what i pointed out that if you go into a supermarket and using the words like proxenosin helicification your communication is not effective so i know that i'm going to address uh, a student who uh, don't make unnecessary noise i'm go i'm going to address uh, you know a students who are studying in uh, you know in degree level so i have to prepare a note that should be understand that should be understood to Uh, you know the students whom i am addressing so the first thing is that your communication should be effective then if the you know uh, then it it will get an appreciation an acknowledgement from the audience whom you are addressing so first thing is that effective communication skill and second thing is that effective communication is a process of exchanging ideas thoughts knowledge and information such that purpose and intention is fulfilled the best possible manner here yeah, yeah, my effective communication my purpose is that to make understand the students of degree level what is the techniques to improve communication so my purpose is to make them understand to convince them the ways to improve communication skill so this is the purpose so you may have various purposes uh, some may have to teach the mathematics students some may have to teach you know the liter literal literature students when you teach a literature students you can use complex or plebish language the same time the same subject you know you have elective subjects for mathematics students and physics students also there so when you teach them you have to step down you cannot use all this flourished language which is used by wordsworth and shakespeare they may not understand it but at the same time when you address the students who have opted their main subject as literature you can use all this flourished language there in a simple words it is nothing the presentation of views by sender in a way best understood by the receiver you are a sender you when you communicate something with a receiver means one who listen you in a way best understood by the receiver so here after my you know uh, after my presentation if somebody asks you someone that how was his performance they may say that it may be It, it it was in vain it was futile you know he he could not communicate it properly then my class and my communication was uh, it could not uh, it was uh, you know uh, utter failure so i have to understand the receiver the receiver is the degree student so i have to deliver according to that so in a communication it is important to present things in a best under, you know uh, in a way best understood by the receiver in a way that is the one thing you have to keep in mind when you go to supermarket you have to ask them in a simple english when you are addressing an academic domain you know you have to use their formal language you cannot use the words like every harry and tom can understand it it's it's an informal language when you come to the academic scenario the acad academic academic domain you have to understand the audience and you have to deliver according to the uh, you know in a way best understood by the receiver so you have to keep in mind all these things then when a communication is become effective the first thing is that characteristics skills significance just delivering message is not enough it must meet the purpose of sender so that is what i i told you a few while be, before the purpose of uh, sender is that my, uh, mind uh, you know purpose is that to make the students of the you know tertiary level or you know degree level to make them understand what are the techniques one can follow to improve english language so this is the purpose so i i should meet my purpose so 
let us discuss the elements which make communication effective. What are the elements that makes a communication effective or immaculate? Well, first one is that clear message. The message which the sender wants to convey must be simple and easy to understand. So I am the sender. The, uh, when I deliver a lecture to the students, I should use simple language. I cannot use all the language which that I am extracting through my reading. So that, that we cannot call it an effective communication. That's just exhibiting my knowledge in a particular subject. That won't be useful for the students of degree students. So when, when I, you know, sender wants to convey must be simple and easy to understand. When you can communicate with someone, you have to, con uh, you know, convey must be simple and easy to understand. Then correct message. When you communicate with someone, the information communicated must not be vague or false in any sense. It should, it should not be vague or false in any sense. It must be free from errors and grammatical mis mistakes. Since you are all belonging to the academic domain, you should be more particular about your, you know, I'm, I'm not that strict on a grammar, but you should at least, you know, try to follow the basic English grammar. Since we are belonging to the academic domain, if you are not belonging to academic, academic domain, I never instinct, instinct to you to follow the grammatical structure, but it should be correct. Whatever the message you want to convey to the students, you should be correct and should not be vague or false in any sense. It should be clear to the students and complete message is the base for decision making. Suppose that, you know, you want to announce, announce something that tomorrow is your exam or, you know, after one week is your, your exam. So whatever you're announcing, it should be clear. So otherwise, you know, information is incomplete. It may lead to wrong decision. That is a, another characteristic. The first two one is clear. And second one is the correct message. And third one is to be complete message because based on your communication, some people mold some decision. So if you communicate miscommunication with them and your communication is not complete, it may lead to wrong decisions. It may lead to wrong decision and reliability. That is the one most important thing since we are living in the sophisticated world, the sources are available and the false news are being circulated in everywhere because we are addicted to the social media, WhatsApp and Facebook, Facebook. It's, you know, whenever you communicate something, you should take it or extract that from a reliable sources. So we are living in the world where everything is available in a click. Earlier, you know, there was no facilities as such we have now. You know, the people used to refer some particular books and they communicate based on that. But nowadays, uh, you know, uh, the reliability should be there. So since we are living in this sophisticated world uh, where the, the, the message that we are communicating, whether it is uh, uh, true or not, that is our responsibility to, to verify, to check it that before you are communicating something. So the sender must be sure from his end that whatever he is conveying is right by his knowledge. So there are chances to, you know, we, there are chances we may, say, we may communicate, we may convey the misinformation since we are living in this sophisticated world. So whatever you communicate, this is our duty as, send, as a sender, our duty that we have to verify or convey the right by its knowledge. Even the receiver must have trust on the sender and can rely on the message sense. You know, since we are teachers and some students and whatever you teach and whatever you communicate with your friends, it should be you know, reliable. You have to verify the reliability. So consideration of the recipient, that is another thing. The first thing I told you that it should be clear it should be correct, a complete message and reliability. And third one is that consideration of the recipient. So my recipient, the receiver are, uh, you know, degree students. As I, as I said you earlier, and I have the habit of reading, I extract so many words every day. I, I read so many books and I, I, I and accumulate my knowledge and particular literature. If I am trying to exhibit all that words, my kind of, I cannot say that my communication is effective. So when you communicate with someone, you have to understand who is your audience and consideration of the recipient is another important characteristics that would help you to come to convey the message in a clear, immaculate way. The medium of communication and other physical setting must be planned, keeping in mind that the attitude, the language, the knowledge, 
education level and position of the receiver when since one once i was teaching in wmo college i had an opportunity to teach that is a books writing skills when i was teaching i was telling to the student this is uh, they have not considered the recipient i mean the, they have not considered the receiver because i think that that module was set not uh, for the that was not uh, easily un, uh, can understand by uh, the the degree students it may be for a pg students or for phd so they have not considered the uh, i don't know how many of you are studying that writing skills they are trying to teach the degree level students the the the, the theories or thesis statement which we are studying when we are while doing phd courses so they have not considered the uh, recipient as uh, you know it is my view i don't know you may have different view so consideration of the recipient is another important factor you have to consider your recipient so these are the characteristics one an effective communication must possess and let us discuss now what are the ways we can or what are the techniques one can use to improve communication skill so as i said that whatever the techniques you use first thing you have to keep in mind the communication should be effective convey a message effectively is an art as well as a skill developed after continuous practice and experience this is the fun, first thing that you have to keep in mind it is it it cannot be done within single or two days you know i'm a phd holder i have produced so many pub, paper publication it means that that is the end of my studying uh, uh, that is the end of my study i have to study you have to keep on studying because we are living in the fast paced world and words are changing every day and new words are added to the dictionary we should update our knowledge about a particular thing so it is a persistent practice continuous practice and experience the other thing you have to underline that experience it is not a single day program it is not an overwrite program so i have seen so many you know communication center center spoken english center they have they are giving advertisement that uh, english can be you know spoken english can be acquired within one month is it possible no no one can teach you within one month even i'm not a perfect communicator i have to go miles to go before i sleep that is robert frost did in you know in his uh, poem so everybody has to go you know this is i can just give you uh, a, a basic uh, steps that one can follow to improve language skill that doesn't mean that is the end of your career you know you have to keep on updating you have to keep on updating so continuous practice and experience only makes a man uh, you know acquire or if communicate effectively so the continuous practice it needed so uh, you know that some day you 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 may you may take a decision that today onwards i'm going to speak in english you may end up that within a couple of days you may stop it there is it is futile we say in arabic mafifa it is futile it is in vain you have to be a persistent uh, in your task it cannot be achieved in overnight it takes times and years to make you a perfect communicator so let us see what are the ways i can uh, uh, teach you to improve your communication skills techniques uh, practice a little bit every single day learning language is like a learning to play a musical instrument is it possible you can be a musician or you can be a violinist in a single day it's not possible it takes time and effort you have to put much effort on you, you know that makes you uh, a well versed person in that particular subject so like you know playing a music or like in, like playing a cricket you know you just read the uh, autobiographies or you know i have you have a topic sunny dice something like that for your degree course you know that the effort sunil gavaskar uh, have put on to become a great cricketer it is it was not an overnight program it takes times to make a edifice in particular subject so the same way if you want to be a good communicator you cannot just pick up a violin and now how to play it simply you are coming and taking the violin and you cannot play it you have to practice a little bit every single day and over time you will improve and become fluent tamam it cannot be Uh, you cannot be a, a, a communicator within a single day every day you have to practice a little bit since it's it's not our mother tongue language it's a foreign language you have to practice a little bit every single day 
and over time over time you will improve and become if become fluent in that particular i mean that in english language you can just practice the day before an exam and expect it to be a perfect at playing the violin so you are going to be conducting a violin competitions or you are going to be you going to play cricket you cannot make it in a single day day before your matches or day before your exam you cannot uh, practice and simply go and write exam this exactly the same for lang teacher also it need continuous you know practice the best way to learn language is to practice a little bit every single day this is my piece of advice you can follow it that since still I'm, i'm 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 learning new words whenever i read books i keep a journal in front of me and what are the new words which i encounter while i am my reading i just try to extract that word i keep in my diary because you know i know that i'm not perfect i have to go uh, a lot uh, so the best way to learn language is to practice a little bit every single day you have to practice a little bit every single day you know since i started to work here in chakra university my i have another ambitions to learn arabic the best way that i find out is that observance a person must possess a sharp observing skill to gain more and more knowledge and information observance is the best techniques you can apply in your uh, in your uh, in your career to learn uh, i mean language you have to keep on observe so when you know uh, the opportunities are, are there you know we since we are living in this sophisticated world everything is available in a click so suppose that you are uh, you get an opportunity to listen uh, somebody is communicating or some you may have opportunity to listen there are so many various teachers are there they are good at in their subject when you listen the, you know lam or when you attend their classes you may you, they may deliver Uh, using different words that word is uh, strange to you just strike that word and write it down in your paper and you know another opportunity that, that since we are living in this sophisticated world you can screenshot it you can use your mobile so observance is another techniques you can improve your language skills listening and understanding the most crucial skills in a person is he must be a good alert and patient listener that is patience is patient your you know Uh, this uh, modern generation what i fi- find out that they are not patient uh, to to listen somebody so how you learned your mother tongue nobody taught you 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 listened your father your 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 siblings and you acquire the ability to speak in our mother tongue nobody has taught you so listening and understanding listen to speak if you are a good listener that helps you to improve your language skills you must be able to understand and interpret the message well so keep on listening you know don't make uproar or noise when the teacher is taking classes for you try to listen your teacher and that helps you you know uh, to improve your language skills the way you learned your mother tongue nobody taught you you just keep on listening your your parents you know one day you started to speak also the same way if you want to to be a good speaker just try to listen a lot of lectures audios even you can relay your teachers also and self confidence that is another important thing important factors of uh, important techniques being one of essential communication skill confidence enhances the worthiness of message being delivered if you are a confident you know we are uh we are not scientists we are not isaac newton we do not have that much gigantic memory even if you commit some mistakes you know when while i was studying my my degree i was not that much a studious students even i committed so many mistakes and there are students they may try to make you down that even if you try to start speaking english there may be students they make you down oh you are an english speaker or something like that they use some abusing words to make you down don't be down increase your confidence even if you are committing mistakes you know that since we are uh, we do not have that much opportunity to communicate in english language so uh, so you know uh, we have limitations we have barriers we have obstacles we don't have much opportunity like other students those who are studying in med- cities or you know de- or capital or somewhere else so uh, create the atmosphere where you live create the opportunity where you live uh, so 
this is my advice even if your friends try to make you down don't be down you know uh, increase your confidence uh, when you commit mistake keep in mind that we are not native speakers we are from a nook and corner of the kerala there we do not have much opportunity to communicate in english language because uh, when i was studying in degree to degree classes i had a, a passion towards the language but i know that whatever i i have spoken that time i committed so many grammatical errors but i have never i have never given any importance to the other saying they may keep on make you down public always fickle in their opinion they may change their opinion they make they make you down also but create a confidence that doesn't mean that you have to commit mistakes rectify your mistakes go on be confident so the first the another thing is that building vocabulary you may have uh, study you you may have that textbook transaction there is a quote in that textbooks you can find out that uh, without grammar very little can be conveyed without vocabulary nothing can be conveyed you know, i i think that uh, most of you know that that is there in the book transaction uh, one one session is te te teaching you vocabulary it is start like this without grammar very little can be conveyed you you do not know even the basic structure of the grammar you know that meaning of the particular word you can convey a little without vocabulary with, without vocabulary nothing can be conveyed if you do not have ample vocabulary if you do not have sufficient vocabulary nothing can be come, come, uh, you know conveyed you know uh, i'm living here in saudi arabia sometimes you know when i go to when i go in some administrative building the people who may sit there they do not know the english language so sometimes i have to use the arabic even i do not know that arabic you know if i know that word meaning meaning i can communicate the same way even if you do not know uh, the grammar if you know that particular word meaning you can communicate so keep in mind every day try to build your vocabulary skill you know why we are uh, we giving much, that much attention to shashi tharoor he has a strong vocabulary skill so vocabulary is the core of the language we may often feel that english words are difficult to learn and easy to forget so how to build up students mental lexicon is a question i do not want to teach you any technical terms like establish semantic relations between words understand morphological knowledge i would like to tell you step that i am following as well as or are living in this sophisticated world everything available in a click so this is an advantage of our generation when our forefathers who lived they do not have this much opportunity nowadays everything available in a click i'll show you my mobile how many screenshot i have uh, you know i do not know all the word meaning in english language i can show you it may be you can also the, use this i know that some many of you are using these also so uh, this is why i'm learning words you see that so many words you can screenshot it so if you do not know a particular word just google it and screenshot it so whenever you get a free because you know we have to put more effort on acquiring this particular word because this is not our language it's it's a strange language and some of the words it is too difficult to keep in your mind sometimes you may forget it try try until it became the part of your vocabulary so don't be hesitate put some hard work on it so even if you you know uh, study some words you know i had that when when I, when i was a beginner i faced so many problems that you know even i try to uh, recollect the words which i learned the other day i may forget it i was not disappointed i just tried to reread it and keep on uh, thinking about it in my mind so when you get a word uh, google it and screenshot it you know i don't want to teach you anything uh, something related to uh, i mean your your academic domain i want to teach you simple step how to make uh, more easy or more uh, easy to remember the words in english language uh, i don't entertain any of my students who are finding meaning through the google and one more thing i want to tell you that you can screenshot it but i prefer you to fit the pages of the dictionary and find the meaning after that you can screenshot it it is an easy way of keeping dictionary with you and fit the pages of dictionary and find the meaning 
the another important thing is that if you want to find out the word meaning still i keep a dictionary you can keep, keep a dictionary oxford or longman or webster or mariam mary what are the dictionary you can keep in front of you and whenever you, you read a book or whenever you find uh, come across a word that you do not know the meaning the first step i never prefer is to go to your google and screenshot it the first step, step is that you have to find out that word meaning by the pages of the dictionary and find it out when you uh, you know the moment you get a word you google it you may easily forget it when you take an effort when you uh, flip the pages of dictionary you are keeping that word in your mind and flipping the pages of the dictionary that will be lasting so and after that you can screenshot it and when you learn a word make a sentence make it in a in a sentence so uh, for example uh, in any sentence so when, if you if you are taking any, and connect that with important incident in your life that is another easy way when you learn a word make a sentence that sentence should be connected to your personal life when you connect that word with uh, make create a sentence and sentence you are connecting that uh, some important incidents or your personal incidents that happened in your life you 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 won't forget that word so connect uh, that sentence with the word try to listen an audio every day so before you sleep uh, you know you may have bit of uh, listening music or watching movie instead of that follow an audio you you know the tech talks are available in the youtube uh, there are so many eminent speakers are available in youtube you can google it and you can follow their audio that would also help you and talk daily with the friends talk daily with the friends uh, if you are bit hesitant you do not have that much confidence to talk with your friends go and stand in front of the mirror and communicate to yourself this is what this is the way uh, i just followed it when i was a beginner i used to communicate myself whenever i get a free time i create i imagine myself that i'm talking with this particular guy that is what you can call mono communication nobody is there to judge you so when you communicate yourself uh, yourself In, in standing in front of the mirror so when you uh, get a chance to communicate with your friends that uh, increase your confidence level that is another type of practice you know i started this uh, seminar uh, this session that practice makes a man perfect when you communicate yourself in front of a mirror it it enhances your it uh, your confidence level so when you, uh, you cre- when you st- uh, sit alone you imagine that i'm talking with this guy and you imagine a topic that and try to communicate like that imagine a situation and you communicate yourself that is what we call mono communication keep a journal whatever the word you get black and white it in your journal and uh, black it, it is not studying for the exam what do you do normally exam uh you you just mug up things and write in the exam then you forget it it is not for that because after the exam you need not remember all these things uh, maybe you need to remember all the times of interview but uh, learning uh, improving your vocabulary or communication skill is not like that you have to keep it every, you have to remember it every time so write it in a journal so every day when you write the uh, new words just try to recollect the other words that you have written the last time so revise it write it revise it uh, the another method is mono communication so if one who follows all this method i think that that would help them to improve their communication skills thank you uh, can you explain about the uh, difficulties of malayalis uh, who face uh, while talking english with our friends or colleagues what we face uh, more difficulties or it is not our any culturally friend, friendly language or it is a new language alien language like that so what is yeah, the, the the difficulty is that the first thing that i find out through uh, through my experience is that lack of practice see since we are malayalis we uh, we we try to choose our comfort zone our comfort zone even when i was teaching the wmo college i used to teach for the pg students the students who are comfortable with malayalam language and they asked me to switch into malayalam so the problem is that when when we are studying in that domain in that locality 
so we try to uh, we try to uh, switch into our comfort uh, comfortable i mean comfort zone so uh, so uh, malayalam is uh, try try not to speak in uh, you know malayalam even if you commit some mistakes you know practice yourself these are the ways that you can overcome these obstacles i mean that uh, when you get the free time you you just in, involve in mono communications uh, you know imagine uh, you before you going to uh, speak with somebody create a situation and imagine yourself that you are speaking with somebody and try to recollect the words and sentences that you needed to communicate in this special occasion in this special situation so when you communicate some, uh, like that when you uh, get an opportunity to communicate to somebody that helps you a lot to overcome all these obstacles since we are uh, carelites or we are malayalis we have a lot of uh, obstacles uh, when we, uh, we and uh, after you graduate or post graduate you are going to uh, compete with the uh, students who studied in uh, london i'm oh, sorry delhi or in north indian uh, places where there have more opportunities you know uh, as uh, we have to find out opportunity we have to create opportunity so even if you commit some mistakes uh, keep in your mind that you you may not have that much opportunity uh, students like who studying in north indian or other part of uh, you know in, in place so create opportunity yourself communicate yourself try to build up your vocabulary when you have ample vocabulary sufficient vocabulary definitely that helps you that uh, enhance your confidence level also so what are the difficulties you face to when you communicate with uh, when when you communicate in english language tell me what are the difficulties that you are facing lack of confidence and lack of vocabulary ah, uh, lack of confidence is the main thing because you know we are surrounded by the diffident the pessimistic people this was my problem also while i was studying my degree i studied my degree in ema college i was not that much brilliant student i was not that much studious student because you know one more thing you have to keep in mind how you take off us nothing to do with i will be flying you may not be good at in your beginning that uh, that that doesn't matter how you take off us nothing to do with i will be flying so you you, you know you, uh, because uh, you may be you cannot uh, perform well in your lower level that doesn't uh, uh mean that you cannot perform in future also you can uh, and you are surrounded with negative people i'm not blaming anybody i mean that we are surrounded with pessimistic i mean that even if you try to speak your students your friend make you down this is what i ex experienced when i was uh, doing my tertiary level of education also forget it forget it we are not from england we are not from america uh, and one thing you have to keep in mind that we did not get opportunity the way they got it so we had lack of opportunity so forget it about it you know be confident be optimistic whatever you speak that doesn't mean that you have to commit mistakes learn from your mistakes and be confident and speak forget about your surroundings what they think if i commit mistake let them think what is the problem what is the problem let them think whatever they want but keep on speaking you know uh, nobody is perfect sometimes i also make commit mistake if somebody point out your mistake try to rectify it that's all forget it and one thing is that you you have to do something for that without doing anything for improving your vocabulary or you do not have reading habit and simply saying that i cannot improve my language no use nobody can inject you i have seen somewhere that uh, the people can inject spoken english it is not like that they have to work hard you have to read you have to every day you have to uh, you know build up your vocabulary try to extract you know um, uh, try to learn a single day uh, single word every day and make a sentence with that word that definitely help you that definitely you know in, increase your confidence level uh, also forget the people public always tickle in their opinion they may change uh, they may try to make you down forget about it speak speak for speak speaks to speak sorry okay hello am i clear yes yeah, sir thank you sir thank you how important uh, is listening in communication it's very important how you learned your mother tongue by listening that's all listening and speaking ah that's all nobody taught you to speak isn't it every day your mother come uh, what is your name 
Ardra. 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 This is the word for this. This is the sentence for this. When you meet a people, you have to speak like that. Did anyone teach you like that? Nobody taught you like that, isn't it? No. You no. learn through your your listening. First yeah. thing is that you have to keep a passion towards language. If you do not have a passion, no one can insist you. No one can feed you like this. If you have a passion, you can you can definitely improve your language skill. Listen a lot. Even uh, today also, I'm listening. You know, because we are blessed with this sophisticated world. We are living in the world of internet. Everything yeah. is uh, sorry. Everything is available in a click. Tamam. Sorry. Clear. Everything yes, yes. Available in a click. So. Uh, keep in mind that nobody taught me taught my mother tongue that time your brain was empty now you are now you are now you are busy with so many things so you cannot learn the way you learned your sorry you learned your mother mother tongue so it needs uh, it it needs some practice and you have to put some effort on it to improve your language skills it is not as easy as learning your mother tongue because that time you were a child uh, innocent child nothing is there in your memory now your memory is brimmed with so many problems you know worldly problems everybody has so that is why you have to put on more effort on that uh, practice practice keep on practicing listen it when you listen you may be able to extract some word from that speaker and when you sit freely try to uh, 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 you know practice uh, use that in your communication skills okay Okay, sir. Thank you for your valuable words. Thank you. Sir, do you prefer verbal or written communication, which which is more effective? Sorry. Do you prefer verbal or written communication, which is more effective? Both are needed for as a students. Uh, since you are a students. verbal and written communications both you know if you are not a student i prefer you to go for the uh, verbal communication since you are a student you have to learn the written communication also that that helps you a lot in your coming days you know you are doing maybe your degree so uh, written communication since you are belonging to academic domain it 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 comes in handy your future so we have to give importance to both for uh, spoken communications i mean uh, you need to listen a lot you have to practice your oral the same method you have to follow in written communication also if you want to improve your uh, writing capacity writing caliber you have to write a lot after reading a particular books that is what i heard from shashi tharoor when i was hearing when i was listening his speech what he what he did in his childhood that after completing reading a books he deliberately started to write a piece of paragraph so these both are important since we are our students since we are belong to academic domain this both communications are Uh, relevant or important or come come in handy in your future clear yes. okay. last but not the least let me invite mr hadev assistant professor department of english kya sinarayana college for vote of thanks gratitude is not in words but in the heart which expresses on behalf of sinarayana college i extend my gratitude to our chief guest Dr. Fahmi KK, who spared the time from his previous schedule to grace the occasion. Today, we had an opportunity to hear your thoughts, and with this will, you are leading all of us in our now. future events. Thank you, sir. Special thank you, thanks to our principal, Dr. Anil sir, for providing immense support to make the uh, webinar successful. I would like to extend the gratitude to the organizing team, volunteers. for working hard for the past few days to make this webinar successful thank you everyone once again for making it a great success with this we are concluding today's session hope that you are clear with the concept and ideas and i'm sure the session was fruitful for the students thank you